The e-learning market is expected to grow 18% over the next eight years, going from just over 200 billion to 800 billion in revenue by the year 2030. And guess what? North America is the leader in revenue generating e-learning platforms. You ready to take your piece of the pie or you wanna stick with your paper route? In this video, I'm gonna show how easy it is to create your very own online course or membership even when you have a boring job like I did. I was a nurse, I found a problem, I got curious about solving it, and I went from my first class in my living room all the way to having over 15,000 paid members inside my courses to then selling my business into multi million dollar acquisition. So let's talk about even those with boring jobs can create online courses and memberships that explode. I want you to get out of the phase of like Taylor Swift accepting the Grammy of like, oh my gosh, me? Yes. Yes, you can. You have magic inside of you. Even if your degree or skills don't scream excitement, let's just pull it out of you because I know it exists. All it takes is a little curiosity and creativity and boom, you've got yourself your very own online course or membership. And PS, you can even work on that while you're in your current job and you're learning at your trial and you don't have to have everything figured out overnight. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, here's my first idea. Dental hygienist, one of the most popular jobs, especially for females here in the United States. Longtime friend of mine, her name is Kamari. She's a dental hygienist. She has amazing pearly whites. She showed this video years ago of how she teaches her little kids, like when they're three and four, to probably brush their teeth and floss their teeth. So my idea here for any dental hygienist is create an online course or membership that will help parents teach their little ones how to properly brush and floss their teeth to reduce their risk of cavities and to eliminate that annoying step of parents having to get up and brush their own kids teeth at night i would be kamari's first customer because even now when my kids are 9 and 11 i will check their teeth i will get up to brush their teeth if they miss spots so wow this would be super helpful and useful to me to help bypass like all that headache and wasted time if i can teach my kids how to do it right themselves as early as possible so idea number one and the trick here is it's something that she's already doing, right? She's already doing this. So just film the steps, add a few PDFs, and boom, you've got your very own online course to launch and people are gonna be excited to learn that from her because it's her expertise. Okay, my brother, Matt. He's an excavator. They bring the big machinery in and the back hose and they dig holes for homes and properties. Not the sexiest job in the world. <laughs> um, not the most exciting job I've ever heard of. Love you, Matt. But Matt has a passion for soccer. He played soccer in high school and also in college. Two of his kids are actually playing in college. One was a national champion last year at UCLA. Let's just say soccer runs through his veins. And I went to him a couple years ago and said, Matt, you need to create a soccer academy. You're already doing it. He was actually already filming with GoPros and even setting up his cell phone on a tripod to capture clips of his kids while they were training. Let's package that in a membership and people will be dying to just glean off of your expertise. Guess what? I was persistent enough and he's launched it. It's called Undeniable Soccer. So even with a boring job of an excavator, wow, he's got this opportunity to create a really cool online soccer academy and he's doing it. Okay, let's take my husband, Chris. Literally texted him right before I shot this. Hey, could I get your title and job description? <laughs> Honey, I promise I know what you do and you're very good at it. He said he's the chief growth officer over growth strategy of the business. How would we turn that into an online course or a membership digital product? Guess what? As long as I've known him, Chris loves anything with a motor, especially cars. This is not a joke. We've had over 20 different cars in our 15 years of marriage. I kind of let go of that and let him take ownership of the cars about two years into our relationship. But my idea for him would be create a membership or a cars forum where people who love to talk about cars and get into the nitty gritty specific details, hop in. Kind of like an online car cave, I guess. And people will actually pay for this where they can come and discuss and chat with their buddies about all things cars. Okay, my girl Haley, Haley Hendel, who I found on Instagram. Oh, love her content. Go check it out. It's so binge worthy. She is all about fridge cleaning and food prep. So Haley has been a beach body coach. So a lot of people kind of in that space. How do I stand out in the noise? Haley, I've got an idea for your first ever digital product. I dubbed her through DMs. I said, you are the fridge and food prep queen. She sent back a blushing emoji. And then, you know, have you ever had one of those fangirl moments when one of your favorite creators actually DMs you back? Instant girl crush. Now we're friends over on Marco Polo. It's no big deal. I would love for her to create kind of like a membership or a course or even an ebook. So in one of my first DMs, I shot to her and I said, Haley, you need to have an ebook or a course called Girl Clean Your Fridge. And some of you might be confused, like thinking crickets here, like who cares about cleaning your fridge? 
a lot of women out there, a lot of moms, a lot of people who are just obsessed with food prep, making it easy, but also like your fridge not smelling. <laughs> And Haley shares all these amazing reels and things about that. I promise you there's a whole mom gang that's interested in this and I'm gonna be your first customer. So are you sensing a theme here? Think about, okay, something that you are dang good at. There might not be a college degree based on it, but you are very good at it, number one. Number two, you would lose track of time working on it. Or whether you're getting paid for or not, you find yourself continually going back to that, that subject or hobby. That's your zone of genius. That's where you need to lean in and shine and create your digital product. Okay, my next one, is my sis, Jessica. She's actually one of the top real estate agents in Denver. Real estate agent is a popular career. Sometimes they could come across as a little boring, but Jess is a premium luxury real estate agent in Denver. And what sets her apart is her attention to details. She gets into all the details of her client's home and she takes out the guesswork of like when somebody walks in and they go, oh, okay, this house has good bones. She brings that to life before the showings even happen through staging, through making sure that all the landscape is dialed in. She also pays for professional videography to showcase her listings and that's all the way up to like aerial shots and everything so that her listings really shine and then her clients are so happy because she ends up getting top market value. My idea for Jessica would be to put into a course or a membership how to go from scrambling for listings to get people pounding on your door in order to become a client and here are the things that will set you apart, right? So she can talk about those attention to detail inside there about how to go about staging how to get the best videography. So then she can lay out the ways that she pays attention to detail with her clients. Realtors just coming into the profession or even four or five years in that feel stuck have this breakthrough with her expertise of what's helped elevate her career and get her to that top 1% over the last 20 years. Okay, so my next boring job would be car seat safety tech. I came across Michelle who owns Safe in the Sea when I was running my previous business, Lactation Link, as a fellow kind of parenting expert in the Instagram space. And Michelle has taught me so much as a healthcare professional, but she took what could be kind of deemed a boring job and has made it super interesting, impactful, and valuable to parents in something where it's really hard to get information. like. You're reading the fine print of like a manual and you're just like, how do I keep my baby safe? She has a car seat safety course that she's developed for each stage of your baby's development. So it's like foolproof. You know that the car seat is installed correctly. You're using the right one for your baby's growth. And she's done all of that legwork. So a really creative way to take your job, turn it into a digital offering and create immense value for thousands of people. I'm gonna get to a pro tip in just a second of like, how do I test this? How do I launch it? But my last idea here I wanna share first is about accountants. If you were to go on Family Feud and they said, what is the most boring job out there? Accountant is definitely going to be on that big board there, right? That's a great answer. A lot of accountants on my husband's side of the family love you all, but it's true. In society, we kind of think of accounting as maybe a boring profession. So how could you turn this into a digital product? Well, there's a lot of softwares out there that are kind of acting as an accounting tool. Fantastic. How can you do your own spin on that? You could have a very basic idea for an ebook or an online course would be how to balance household finances, you know, from from an accountant. How to get your finances in order for tax prep. So that could be a monthly membership or you know, a one-time course that people are gonna be interested in because it saves them money and time when it comes tax season. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my ideas here. The pro tip would be, okay, how do I get this out into the world? So I'm gonna go back to Haley. All she needs to do is go to her audience, whether that's 10 people, 10,000 people, she, you know, Haley has over 100,000, but all she needs to do is either go to her audience her family or friends, whoever is listening. And say, I'm thinking of doing a workshop, webinar, masterclass, all those terms can be interchanged. How to master food and fridge prep once and for all. I'm gonna charge 67 bucks, 49 bucks, 99 bucks. You in? And then see who responds. And you're gonna get some takers. Don't worry about how many, you're gonna get some takers and then do that workshop. And that's the beginning of your market research to map out your online course or whatever your offering is gonna be. But just remember, you've got that magic inside. We just need to pull it out, offer it, press go. See you guys in the next video.